Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Well, um, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to Bethel AME Lebanon, Ohio Church School, Sunday, July the 5th. We are glad you're here. Uh, we want you to be engaged in what we are doing today and what God has planned. So we're, we're always going to start out with prayer. Prayer has, always needs to be a starting point in your life. Uh, it should be the first thing you do in the morning. I heard someone say, and the last thing you do at night and pray throughout the day. Amen. So let's get, let's start. Uh, you can kneel if you are, if you are able to, or you may bow your head and fold your hands. Either one is fine, but grab hold of someone that's next to you and ask them to pray along with you. Amen. Mm -hmm. God, thank you for this morning. We thank you, Lord, for all of our young people that are on participating in our, in our church school this morning. We thank you, Lord, as we learn more about the armor of God, as we learn how what the different parts of the armor are and how important it is in our lives today, that you will help us to understand and that you will bless us to be able to utilize the armor so that we can honor your holy name. Now, Father, we ask you to bless all families in the world, all families in our nation. We thank you, Lord, for providing our food and shelter for all of us. And we thank you, oh God, for uh, just allowing us to see this wonderful, beautiful, sunshiny day. Amen. Reverend Phyllis, that was a good one. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you liked it. I thought it was nice. Yeah. Here in the forge. Okay. Let's come on in here. We're learning this month about the armor of God. Who remembers from last week what the armor of God is? Did I hear it? That's right. It's what we wear to keep us safe from evil schemes. And so who can remember some of the six parts? I'm actually going to make sure you can see my necklace. Who can remember the six parts? One, yeah, the belt of truth. That's right. Number two, it's the breastplate of righteousness. And then number three, you have, you, have, you have to have your feet ready to share the gospel. That's right. Number four, it's shaped like this, and you hold it out in front to protect. Remember? That's right. Yeah, it's the shield of faith. And then we wear the next one on our head. Do you remember what that is? That's right. It's the helmet of salvation. That's right. And then number six. It's the word of God. But what do we talk about with it being part of the armor? We hold it up. That's right. It's a sword of the spirit. That's right. So we're going to try and remember together the first verse of the armor of god um, in the ephesians 6 13 
So if you, see if you can remember without having to look in your Bible. It says, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, right? That ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand ephesians 6 13 that's right we'll work on that a little bit more okay so today we're going to start learning the individual pieces of the armor and we are going to make our own armors over the next three weeks so today we will learn about the belt of truth and the breastplate of righteousness but first the belt of truth a lot of people today are saying something really weird. Maybe you've heard it. You'll hear a lot of it. It goes like this. <clears throat> well, what's true for me may not be true for you. Um, how many have heard this already? This something's true for you, but not for me business. Has anybody heard that? Yeah, me too. <laughs> but people say things like this so that we can all get along which is very important however something is ultimately true in the universe god is unchanging and is a certain way he has a certain personality and character and he is good jesus said in john 14:6 I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. So when people try to tell us that Jesus isn't true for them, it can feel like a slap in the gut for those of us who really, really love him. It kind of hurts our feelings. How many of you have had the wind knocked out of you? Have you ever had that feeling like maybe you've been hit in the stomach or you fall and you just feel like you lose all your air? And that's what that can feel like. But that's why we put on the belt of truth. It protects us. Hang on a second. I've been working on it. It protects us. And if the Lord is prompting us, it gives us courage to protect <clears throat> or to correct someone. Sometimes we do need to say, Jesus said, I am the truth, and he is the only truth, and we need, to, we need to become his friend so that he can tell us more truth. And sometimes we don't like to correct the other person, but we like to stay sure of ourselves. After, let's see, we're going to make our belts of truth, we're going to have an, a vision of what it is to put it on. So now that I'm, I've finished beating, beating all the impurities out of this piece of metal, look what a big hunk of metal turned out. The belt of truth. See how it says true? Okay. Nice. So when we wear that, that will help us keep us from getting the spiritual wind knocked out of us. Okay, so we're going to work on the next piece, and that is the breastplate of righteousness. When we feel love for somebody, where, our body, where in our bodies do we feel that love? We feel it in our arm? No, <laughs> I just feel an arm. Do we feel it in our ear? No, it doesn't feel like anything there. The reason we have the breastplate of righteousness is to cover where we feel that love and that is in our chest in our hearts right so here are some examples of when we feel that have you ever seen your pet lying and sleeping and suddenly you want to just go on the floor and hug and play with them but they're asleep or you want to hug, on, hug and kiss on them, but they're laying there resting. Have you ever had that happen? You can 
feel that love in your heart, can't you? Yeah. Well, here's another example. Have you ever suddenly seen a friend who had moved away or whom you just haven't seen in a long time? How did that make you feel? I know, it feels like there's so much love and happiness right here that you're feeling like your chest could explode. <laughs> well, someday we will get to see Jesus and finally be with him. How will we feel then? We should come to love Jesus more than our pets, our friends, and our family members. But that's how much he loves us. We know that we can't get down on the floor with Jesus and hug him like we do our cats and dogs. We know that we can't play baseball with him like we can with our friends or bake cakes with him like we can with our grandmas and meemaws. Yet we can and should express our love for him. What is it called when we speak really nice to Jesus and thank him and tell him that we love him? It's a word that starts with a W. I heard it. It's called worship. That's right. Nice. You're so smart. Well, putting on the breastplate of righteousness means to worship. We are putting on the breastplate of righteousness when we come into Jesus's presence in prayer and in worship. We are guarding our hearts from bad influences by making him our strength and our primary influence. Hey, so I've been beating my hammer on something else, another big piece of metal. And what I have here is the breastplate of righteousness. That's where inside of that is our heart, and we want to protect it. All right. So we need to remember as we are building our armor that even we don't actually need to have these items to protect our heart and guard our faith. We pray, and it's like, God puts invisible armor on us when we pray and we ask for it. So let's remember to wear our invisible armor at all times. So that's the first thing we should do when we wake up. Um, Dr. Vanya, did you have something to add to that? Yeah, I sure do. Good morning the armor of God. Now, do you remember last week where I told you that Paul was writing this epistle? Now, epistle is just a real fancy way of saying letter. So do you remember where I said that he was living and where he wrote this letter from? Right. He was writing it from the Roman Empire. Now, you might not have learned about the Roman Empire yet in school. But the Roman Empire is really important to us, and you will study it at some point in time. And there's a lot of reasons why it's so important. The first is because it was so huge. And the second is, is that that's kind of where we get our system of government from. SPQR, which you see on your screen, means Rome and the people. We say it. We the people. So it's kind of the same thing. You also hear about the Roman Empire and church from people like Pastor Karen. And that's because Jesus was born, traveled, and lived his life and died his horrific death in the Roman Empire. And that the epistles, now what did I say epistles meant? The letters that Paul wrote were to churches that were located in the Roman Empire. So you see, Rome is pretty daggone important to us. 
Now, last week, I, I talked about the belt of truth. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist. And the belt was where the soldiers, the Roman soldiers, carried their weapons to defend themselves. Now notice I said defend themselves. And that truth is like that weapon that we can use to defend ourselves. The truth of the Bible helps us to defend ourselves from evils such as whatever, um, stealing or lying or cheating. And being truthful all the time is a pretty good thing to be in our life. So the belt of truth, the weapons that the belt carries, helps to protect us from harm. This week, we're going to learn about the breastplate, excuse me, the breastplate of righteousness. With the breastplate of righteousness in place. Now, righteousness, that's another word that's not really that easy to understand. <clears throat> righteous means, righteousness means to do the right thing. Being fair to people, being for justice, being honest, and doing good are some of the things that righteousness stands for. Now, let's be honest, being good all the time is not easy, or it really isn't possible. But when we have done somebody wrong, we need to say that we're sorry, we need to ask for forgiveness, and we need to apologize. Being sorry and saying that we're sorry is not a sign of weakness. It's really a sign of strength. And then don't forget to ask God to help us to be better all the time. Now, there are many different types of breastplates that the Romans wore. They were all designed to do one thing. And that was to provide protection. Now, Ms. Carla kind of shared with us one of the major places. One of the major places that the breastplate protects. But can you think of any other places that the breastplate might protect? You're right, it protects the stomach. It protects the lungs. But I was thinking about the same thing of Miss Carlin, that it protects the heart. That's what I was thinking about. The heart is really important to us. We can't live without a heart. It's not important to us. I mean, it's vitally important to us. And today we don't really wear breastplates um, to protect our hearts. But there's things that we can do to help protect the heart. We can eat right, we can exercise, and we can get enough sleep. Those are just a few of the important things that we can do to protect our hearts, to make sure that our hearts are strong and healthy. Because the Bible tells us in Proverbs to keep vigilant, which just means constant, watch over our heart, your heart. That's where life begins. Don't talk out of both sides of your mouth. That just means don't say two different things about the same thing because one of them is a lie. Avoid careless banter, which is just arguing. White lies and gossip. Keep your eyes straight ahead. Ignore all the sideshow distractions, watch your step, and the road will stretch out smooth before you. Either right or left. Just means stay focused on where you're going and what you're doing and leave evil in the dust, which is that people who are not doing good things 
people who are bad, who always like to get in trouble, those are the type of people that we need to avoid if we possibly can. So we've talked about the belt of truth, which can equip us to defend or will equip, equip us to defend ourselves from evil, and the breastplate of righteousness, to protect our hearts so that we're strong and healthy to do things in our life for God. We need to shield up ourselves the full armor of God. So the breastplate of righteousness is there to protect your heart. And there are so many situations throughout your entire day that you would want to have that breastplate of righteousness on to protect your heart. Whether you're talking to family or friends, but especially when you hear the news and you see what's happening in the world around us, it can break our hearts and it can make us more tender. <clears throat> so we want to make sure we protect ourselves in those moments. And those are wonderful opportunities for people around us to see our love for the Lord and how much he loves us and how much we just lean in onto the Lord's bosom and accept that embrace and that protection. So thankful for the armor of God. So would you like to receive a free kit so that you can make your own armor of God necklace? It's a fantastic way to remember every bit of the full armor for God's protection and encouragement in our lives. And we can encourage others through our love of the Lord. So make sure you ask mom and dad Grandma, Grandpa, anybody that is in charge, make sure that they are okay with you sending me your information so I can get these to you. Better yet, ask them if they would send me that information for you and tell me how many you would like and I'll get them sent to you. There's no cost at all to you. It's our gift. It's a gift from Bethel AME Church. To you let's go back to pray because we're making this has been a prayer sandwich that you've been a part of that's where you start with prayer and you have a bunch of stuff in the middle the meat the peanut butter the jelly whatever the good stuff and then you end with prayer so let's go ahead and put our hands together bow our heads father let us remember that you are real. You not only have truth to share with us, but Jesus said you are the truth. Help us to remember to keep our hearts safe so that we can please you. Help us to wear our invisible breastplates of righteousness and our belts of truth every day. Amen. Amen. One last thing. Go to our group page on Facebook. I will have the files there for you to download and print your own Armor of God pieces so that you can put them together too. Mm -hmm.